Hey everybody, happy Monday. This is William Miller, National Brand Manager, the guy that knows a little, who's with the guy that knows a lot, John. Uh, as you can tell by the gloves, I think my friends, uh, family are gonna love this video, I think the most, uh, because I hope I don't get too dirty. Uh, on today's maintenance video is really important because we are not robots, we are human, and everybody has waste. So we're talking about the black water tank, uh, the process to maintain, clean, and empty, correct? Correct. All right, John, if you would, just please correct me so the viewers understand exactly what we're, we're talking about. So this is our wastewater uh, holding connection. This is where we'll, we'll hook up to dump our wastewaters. So <laughs> we want to take those caps off slowly for a couple of reasons. Uh, as you're moving up and down, going down the road, sometimes there's a little residual water left in the line. That ends up down at the cap. If we take that cap off really fast, uh, we may wind up with a bath and waste, and obviously nobody wants to do that. Gross. All right, so now that we've pointed out that disclaimer, what's going to be the first step of this process? So the first step is, uh, Willie didn't want to get dirty here, so uh, he, he threw me in here to do this. <laughs> so the first step here is we're going to, we're going to take the cap off slowly. Not bad. So I like to hang the cap up there out of the way, and then we'll hook up our hose. All right, so we're gonna start with step one, hooking up the hose, but there's a couple things you wanna talk about specific to the hose. Correct. So the first thing we, we wanna look at is when you buy a hose kit, which we don't supply, uh, when you pick up your hose kit, you're gonna get connections that look similar to this. Uh, some will have gaskets, some will be threaded. These are designed to fit three different thread sizes, and those will screw right into your uh, wastewater connection at your campground or your dump station, wherever you're dumping at. So as John pointed out, I'm going to get as far back as possible. But step one, after we first make our connection, um, you know, at, at our site, then what, what's going to be the first process we do? Once we've hooked up to our, uh, to our wastewater, our dump site here, we'll go ahead and hook our hose up to the connection on the unit. Once we've got that hooked up, we'll want to hook up our black tank flush. So just again, for a lot of people that are new, do they always have to use uh, the, the water pressure or can they just hook up and empty alone with just that hose? Yeah, the tanks will dump without the, without the fresh water supply to clean the tanks. Uh, we wanna hook this up to the black water flush uh, that'll help to force out the residual solids and stuff that are in there. So John, do we recommend that every time they do empty that they should also flush that time as well? Yes. Okay. We, we recommend that you always uh, flush your black tanks when, when you have the ability to do that. Okay. All right, John, so I see two connections here. Does it matter which one we connect to? It does. <laughs> so for guys like Willie, we want to make sure that we read the labels that are on here and make sure that we're hooking up our hose to the black tank flush. Uh, we never want to leave the valves closed when we're hooked up to this. We also want to never leave it unattended. All right, John, so now that this is connected for reading the label in the correct location, what happens next? So now that we've got this connected, we're going to come over here. We're going to open up our black tank gate valve. Okay. So now that we have that open, we can turn our water supply on to wash the tank out. All right, John, so one question I'm going to have, and I'm sure, you know, first time our viewers are going to have too, is how do they know uh, once we have, have everything going that the tank is emptied? So there's, there's two ways that we can do this. On the inside, there's a monitor panel. We can check that monitor panel and see if the tank is reading empty. Uh, the one thing that I recommend uh, personally is they actually have clear elbows to where you can see uh, when it's finished draining. All right, John, so we just emptied the black tank. So what's going to happen next? And I know we have a gray tank also. Correct. So now that we've now that we've dumped the black tank or the solid waste holding tank, um, we're going to close that valve and open the gray and let the gray drain. Now the reason we do the black first and then the gray, the gray is your bath water. That's your shower, your sink. So that's your soapy or your cleaner water. Um, and the reason we do that is uh, once we've dumped our solid waste tank, we'll use that gray water to flush that hose out so we're not messing with with solid waste. Now, Jen, I do have a question. So for again, first time customers. How will they know when those tanks are full? Do all of our units have some way of telling them that the tanks are full? Yeah, so there's a monitor panel inside uh, that tells you with all of your holding tanks, you're, uh, and it has the battery on it as well, but it tells you if the battery's charged, if the uh, holding tank is the black or the gray holding tank, your freshwater tanks are full or empty. So this particular monitor, uh, model, the monitor panel is here next to the door. 
Uh, so the way that we want to check our, our holding tanks is, for instance, the black, we're just going to touch this button here. And as you can see, the light lit up here and shows that it's empty. Um, and then we'll just continue to do that to the gray and then to the fresh. And the battery is on there as well, and that shows the battery is full. So I have to be honest, this wasn't as scary as I thought. Uh, for all you viewers, if you have more questions about uh, cleaning or emptying your wastewater, uh, please, of course, go to our Heartland RVs uh, community uh, online on Facebook, or feel free to reach out to us directly for any additional questions you may have following a review of this video.